Today's video is going to be a very exciting video. I am going to be canning for the first time by myself. I have been in the kitchen helping my parents. We've bottled peaches, grape juice, salsa, tomatoes, pickles. We've done so much over the years, but this is the first time I'm in my own place doing it by myself. I'm going to be watching step-by-step -step instructions from my mom and dad's YouTube channel, Grandma and Grandpa Griffiths. If you guys want to follow along, you can watch my video, her video, both of them. This is the Griffiths cookbook. This is the salsa section, and I'm going to be following the book and my mom's channel. I have everything laid out that I need. I'm going to be cutting this recipe in half, and there's a few things that I want to add to it. First thing mom said is to get a pot of water boiling to blanch your tomatoes and get a pot to cook the salsa in. So I've got my two pots set up ready to go. The ingredients that you're going to want for the ingredients you're going to want for this rest for her. This is harder than the, than my mom makes it look. The ingredients you're going to want, and I'm cutting it in half, is about a half a bushel of tomatoes, one or two jalapenos, a half cup to a cup of onions, so I have my onions out, I have two bell peppers out, a half a cup of sugar and a fourth a cup of salt, a handful of carrots, a handful of celery, and a bunch of cilantro. The water is boiling and we are going to be blanching our tomatoes first. So I'm putting all of my tomatoes in the boiling water and here in like a minute, they're going to start to crack and they will be ready to be put in ice cold water and then for me to peel them. For Christmas, mom, I think I need a big spoon to blanch my tomatoes with. I just poured my tomatoes in an ice cold bath when they start to crack, you know they are ready to transfer into the cold bath. You're gonna take the skins and peel them off. And then you're going to, oh my gosh, what's the word? What's the word? What did my mom say? Core, is that what you do? I don't know, you take the middle section out, guys. <laughs> this is a big one. And then you're gonna put this in a bowl. And you're gonna do this to all of them. On the gram griff. Let me see what you put. Oh no, you're fine. But if look you, at all the juice. I have that much juice. If okay. you start smishing them with your fingers, it's going to be even more. Okay, so keep it. Yeah, you can pour that. If you want to flip some of it out, that's fine. A lot of it's going to boil off. Boil down. If you didn't hear Grandma Griff, she said that it looks fine in all the liquid. She said it'll boil out when you cook them. If you want to pour a little out, you can. I might pour just a little out. I am doing my very last tomato, guys. This is the only tomato that I've had like a really bad black spot. And just like my mom, cut it out. Bottling fruit and veggies has been a generational thing in my family's. It is a huge part of who I am. And I definitely am starting to appreciate it now that I have my own kids because I now see why they all did it. My whole life I have been taught, be prepared. Even if it's like, be prepared by having an extra $10 in your wallet. Be prepared by having an extra $20 in your car. When I first got married, I didn't do bottling. I didn't do canning. I would buy a few extra cans of beans and a few extra cans of mac and cheese. I am in my marriage about 11 years. I've got three boys. I feel so grateful that I'm doing this. All of my siblings are doing this right now and it's kind of fun to just like be talking to each other, to call each other and ask questions. And if you guys don't have that at home, at least you have Grandma Griff's videos. She does so many cooking videos. You have this video to look on. This is my first time doing it by myself. Being nervous is an understatement. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? But I'm following her video step by step. Now that I have my tomatoes blanched, I'm gonna put those tomatoes back in the largest pot I have and we'll go on to the next step. What's that? Is that gross? Now is the time that we are going to take the tomatoes. You want candy? Yeah. This is not candy. That we are going to take the tomatoes 
and kind of pull them apart or you can use the food processor. I'm gonna use the processor for like the carrots, celery and stuff because I like that really fine. But for the salsa itself, I don't want it like liquidy. I don't know, I'm just trying to follow my mom's steps as much as possible. So she says take the tomato and kind of like pull it apart like play in it. Tommy, do you wanna do one? Oh, put that phone down. Cheese. Cheese, do you wanna do one? No. You don't? Do you hear him say no? No. What about this one? Can't be kicked. You're funny. You'll make a mess of every dang thing except for the one thing I'm saying, hey, make a mess of. Do you know that grandma and grandpa are watching this? Do you wanna say hi, grandma and grandpa? Hi, grandma and grandpa. This is what my pot of tomatoes look like. I sat there and hand pulled it apart and then I used a little potato smasher and I smashed it up a little bit just like my mom did. This step I'm going to be doing a little differently. I want all of my veggies to go in the food processor because I like my veggies to be really, really fine. I just wanna dip my chip in the salsa and eat it. I don't wanna have to like scoop. I'm still going to cut up my veggies pretty fine and then put it in the processor to finish blending because I don't have a food processor. I have a blend tech and yesterday, I practiced this and I put everything in the blend tech and it actually worked, but I had cut everything up pretty fine to begin with. That's my next step. Actually, that's a lie. This is my next step. Yeah, we need to come out. We're not gonna play the piano, not if I'm not in here. Come on. This is my favorite kitchen item, guys. This is a camp chef cutting board. It is huge. I use it most of the time is like, Decor, I'll put it on my island with a vase on it and I'll always have fruit on it for the kids to eat. It is huge, it is amazing. I have cut and cut and cut on this and it still looks beautiful. So if you ever need a gift for Father's Day, Christmas, birthdays, this is a good gift to give. a bushel of cilantro, one jalapeno with not one seed, <laughs> bell pepper, carrots, and celery. We are going to shred it up even more. shredded all of that stuff. I taste tested this and I thought it needs a lot more cilantro and one more jalapeno pepper. So I did one more pepper and a bunch more cilantro and I think this will be good for the next step. I don't know what the next step is. So let me watch mom's video. We have our tomatoes. Isn't she cute? All of our veggies are inside of this pot. Okay, yep. before I move forward, looks like I need to put all of this inside my pot of tomatoes. my kitchen right now with my big white farmhouse sink definitely missing my counter space but I am so excited guys our house plans are finalized I don't know when our dig date is yet but this just makes me that much more excited for next year when I am canning in my new kitchen right now I am bringing all of this mixture to a boil and once that is boiled we will add in our sugar, which I cut the recipe in half, so I believe there's a half a cup of sugar, and a fourth a cup of salt, and then I will let that boil for, my mom said about four hours. And I'm wondering if it needs to boil for the four hours or just like simmer. So we will call her and she will answer that question once this is boiling. Think she'll answer? Oh, hello! You're not mom. <laughs> I was going to ask her, maybe you know this answer. So do you boil it for four more hours or simmer it? 
simmer it. You just just simmer. just let it just yeah, because if you boil it, it's gonna burn on the bottom. Okay, you heard the man. He said to boil it first, put in the sugar and salt, let that boil for like a second, and then turn it down to simmer for about four hours. So that is going to be simmering. I'm not gonna go to bed till late. I'm not gonna be able to can this until 7.30. The kids are gonna be in bed. I just put a little bit in a cup to cool off because I wanna taste it just to see if there's anything else I wanna add before it like is cooking, cooking. Like if I need to add more salt maybe, maybe this is a bad time to do it. I don't know, but I wanna taste it and see if I like it. It's a keeper! <laughs> this is so good! See, I could drink it, I could drink it. It's gonna be good. I'm glad I added cilantro. She didn't add cilantro to hers. I'm like a cilantro Nazi. I don't know if this is a big thing where you guys live, but it definitely is in Utah. A big gift to give for Christmas is something that you canned. There's this guy growing up, he had amazing salsa and he would always give us salsa and we like loved it. So this is like a good gift to have on hand. My friend Lowell, I told you guys when I moved in, he is like this 90 year old man, he's amazing. He would come and walk our dog every day when we moved here. Well I saw him the other day and he was so sad his dog passed away. After I do all this, I'm gonna bring him a, bar a bottle of salsa and say hi to him and I don't know, it's just kind of fun to have on hand for me as a mom, for my kids, even if it's not salsa, I would love to still can just bottled tomatoes because that's great in soups. But if I don't get to that this year, I'll do it next year. So I'm just having fun, I'm just playing. When we were married and my parents would give us, you know, oh, here's some peaches. You know, I remember Jackson was like two years old and I went down and got a bunch of peaches for my parents. And you can have them, but you have to bring the jars back. Like they cared more about the jars than the food in it. I always thought that was kind of funny and I was like, okay, you know, you're obsessed with your jars, I'll bring your jars back. Now I know why. Guys, the DI does not have jars. Grocery stores do not have jars right now, at least here in Utah. They are so hard to find and it's like these will last you forever. Keep your jars. I actually just ordered some way overpriced ones on Amazon and they'll be here next week, but I now see why it's important to not get rid of your jars. I have about an hour and a half left until this is done simmering. You can see, you don't have piano today, you have it tomorrow. <laughs> you can see where it started and now where it's at. So here in an hour and a half, it'll be a little bit lower and then we will be ready to put it in the pressure cooker. Four hours later, I am ready to put the salsa in my jars. I'm not as graceful as my mom. <laughs> This salsa texture turned out exactly how I want it. I don't mind my tomatoes being a little chunkier, but everything else, I wanted it super thin. Love it. This made the exact amount that I wanted. I could not be happier. I didn't want to waste anything. I didn't want to make too much and not have enough jars, but I really wanted to make enough so I could save several of these jars to can just tomatoes in. So I have this jar that's full, and then I have all of these half pints uh, jars that are full. I wish I didn't buy these ones. I didn't know what I was doing. I just ordered them off Amazon. These will work, but I wish I would have bought just these kinds. This is so crazy that I am doing this myself. Ah! I like love this. This was so fun to do in the kitchen all day. I am so proud of myself. I cannot wait to go into my pantry and have my very own salsa that I have made. Oh, I brought in the big guns. We are watching grandma's video. <laughs> this is the hard part. Never used a pressure cooker like this, so. This is the all-American one I purchased. My mom said, you will not regret that purchase. You will have that for generations and generations. Growing up, we did the processing all outside. You can do it inside, outside, whatever you like. Right now, we are going to be doing this inside. This is the first time I've ever personally done any canning stuff, so I hope I'm doing it right. That's about one inch. We're looking about two inches of water at the bottom, and then we'll put this. Both or I one? Just one. Um, and then you put the, the bottles on top of that. Putting the last jar in, about two inches of water down there. Don't say you love it just to appease me. That's really good. Is it too sweet? No, I like that it's sweet. It's good, huh? That's really good, Ellie. I just said be honest and then I'm like, it's good, huh? Huh? Isn't it? Isn't it? It's good. <laughs> You're gonna I mean, tell it's good, me right? it's good. No, honestly, I would buy this at the store. 
Yeah, it's good. Once you have two to three inches of water in the can, you will then put the lid on and you wanna make sure that the lid is even and balanced. So you turn it tight on the opposite sides of each other. Then you're gonna turn it on to high heat. Once the steam started coming up, we let it go for just a few minutes and Jared put the weight on there. And that is the 15 pound weight. And then you're gonna see your pressure gauge start going up a little bit. And we just wanna keep it around 15. And that's how you adjust your heat. So you can see that we are right about 15 PSI. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit so we can maintain that rather than go above that. Oh, we're hopping, we're skipping, we're dancing, we're jumping. Okay, we are going to let this sit for 35 minutes. The timer went off for 35 minutes and Jared turned the heat off. It is slowly, the pressure is going down and when it's down, we will take the weight off and then we'll unscrew this and open it and it should be done. Shabby. There you have it, my first batch of salsa and my very first batch of me ever canning all by myself. Don't forget to check out Grandma and Grandpa Griffiths. I will have their YouTube channel down below. Don't forget to subscribe because we are showing and documenting our whole house building process. And Bali brand, we are launching our whole complete loungewear and some extra goodies are coming at the end or middle of October. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll see you guys later. Bye.